Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Plane. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add any DOSBox game to your Steam library. Um, what you're firstly going to want to do is right-click your DOSBox shortcut and then go up to this Create Shortcut bit. Or you can also click on Send to and then choose Desktop Create Shortcut. You're going to want to get that shortcut and uh, rename it to whatever game you have. Uh, what you're then going to want to do is right click it and go to open file location choose this DOSBox 0.74 options file um, and open it then save it as uh, any all files call it whatever game you want so I'm going to call or call it whatever name you want so I'm going to call it And you need to make sure to put a .conf on the end of the name. Uh, and then save. You're then going to want to close it. And now as you can see I have the uh, game conf file there. You're then going to want to set all of these settings to what you want them to be set to. So what I would recommend is setting full screen to true. So that it launches the game in full screen. Uh, and what you need to do here is put in what you would type in DOSBox so that would be for my game this uh, the UM want to go up to file and save now you don't have to put these files on the desktop, you can put them anywhere on your hard drive. You're then going to want to right click your game shortcut, go over to properties, and then go space minus conf, and then these marks, and then where you've saved the uh, conf file to. So if it's on the desktop that would be c colon backslash uh, users backslash your name, your username, and then the name of the file, which is game conf and then a dot conf and then close marks click on apply and then click on ok so basically that's just telling this shortcut where to find the configuration file you're then going to want to open up steam and click on games add a non steam game uh, click on browse Uh, go to wherever you saved this shortcut to, choose it, then click on Add Selected Programs. And as you can see here, I now have my Amulet and Armour shortcut in Steam. This won't work, because if you right click it and go down to Properties, you can see it's reverted the shortcut to the DOSBox, to the main DOSBox executable. So what you want to do is go to Change, um, click on all files and then go over to uh, wherever you saved that shortcut wherever you have that shortcut so users your username and then your desktop and then amulets and armor dot um, ink or link I would think that's link and then click on open as you can see it's now changed it um, and click on close so now when I play this That doesn't seem to have worked. Now the reason why it didn't work was because I forgot to put a desktop after Conan. So I'll put that in there. Then backslash. And then click on apply. And OK. So then this time it should work. OK then. So as you can see the game is now running nicely. Um... But, here, as you can see, it's just got the DOSBox icon and not the um, icon that you want. So you can right click that, go down to properties, click on choose icon, and then you're going to want to make a PNG um, icon of the game that you want. So this can be whatever you want, I've already made one. Um, so you're going to want to choose file type here, and then choose um, image files. 
and go over to DOS programs. Or no, you don't necessarily need to go over to DOS programs. You just want to go to the PNG that you have for um, the game. So I've already made one. Choose that, click on close. And now as you can see, I have my fully working shortcut in Steam for a DOS box game. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions or any recommendations for, for videos that I should make, please put them in the comment section. Uh, but for now, hopefully I will see you in another video.